Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Roni and today we're gonna talk about 12 books to read in 2024. I'm super excited to make this video. I feel it will become my ritual in this uh, channel. So let's get started. First, I want to highlight or make a disclaimer that my main focus here is to highlight the main areas in data science fundamentals and all these choices are my personal opinion and it's still subjective to the type of projects you usually implement and your own experience. However, I find these books inspiring to mention and I want also to highlight my criteria for evaluation which is stated as follows, that whether the topics are still relevant or not, and the code is up to date or not. And also I need, I see like some of these books are being referenced in multiple occasions on multiple blogs on Medium and LinkedIn. So I stopped and wanted to emphasize all of them. And finally, as you can see here that I always read the books, whether like 10 out of 10 or uh, below or a little bit higher. So all of these are my solely opinion and I usually use the reference page to highlight them in more depth. The first choice is storytelling with data. Let's practice. And this book is rated 10 out of 10. It's about the data visualization and storytelling and it, con it contains the core concepts without reflecting on a specific programming language and that's pretty good because you can use these concepts and implement it in any programming language you choose python r javascript or even google excel sheets the main features of this book are it has pretty uh, nice way of talking about the concepts and usually it has multiple examples. Additionally, it gives us some insights on uh, or make a comparison between the professional plots versus the unfulfilled plots. Besides, it explains each plot type and when to use this type uh, as well as it gives uh, or highlights the meaning of colors and shapes and I find this, po this point inspiring to mention because colors can make um, a nice story and also it gives you some uh, tricks on how to evaluate or make uh, a good storytelling to um, weave it with your data. Next, we have B is the outlier, how to ease data science interviews. I read this book 15 out of 10. It's an amazing book for beginners. It highlights many topics and instead of going to Reddit or Medium and read blog after blog, it covers the main concepts in data science and what do you expect and then what's expected from you or from candidates in general. It starts with an overview about the data science and the industry required skills, moving, moving on into more depth on how to crack the technical interviews and what's expected by tech managers. And also it has pretty nice uh, section which I truly like and this section contains uh, multiple um, chapters on how to showcase your skills and it stood out among other applicants. My third recommendation is the Kegel book Data Analysis and Machine Learning for Competitive Data Science. I read this book 1000 out of 10 because I truly enjoyed reading this book. And if you don't know, uh, Kegel is a well-known website. It has fascinating uh, data sets discussion and a lot of really amazing uh, no notebooks to explain uh, complex techniques in AI and explain it in really simple, effective way. So Kegel will become one of your favorite websites 
it ha it's for many people and it's one of the authentic authentic places where companies and data scientists communicate and collaborate for optimal business solutions. I consider this book a really hidden gem and intermediate to advanced level. It has some so uh, it has some solid knowledge, which is necessary to easily follow the concepts of this book. So the main features are here. It covers pretty updated ML concepts or machine learning concepts and also evaluation metrics. And it helped me to develop my understanding for concepts like hyperparameter tuning or optimization, simulation, ensembling, modeling, and computer vision. Most importantly, it helped uh, on how to level up your portfolio and your business skills. I, I want to also uh, highlight that this book, it has nice uh, section on how to make your resume stood out among other applicants in data science industry or data analytics. And this book will help you also to reinforce your skills and your technical skills and your showcase uh, your project in pretty professional way. Moving on to the next option or the next recommendation, Python Crash Course. I read this book 100 out of 10. I believe like this is uh, this book in specific in the whole series is the most well-known common uh, book that you definitely came across the, this cover or even have a copy. It's totally worth it because it it's really for beginners in programming and it, the, um, the colors and the pages are really nice and the book is pretty interesting to read so it covers the main concepts of programming starting from arrays lists dictionaries if statements the functions classes uh, queues all this stuff and it can transition your code to clean elegant structured uh, code or project in python highly recommend this book and I truly uh, enjoyed it um, as a beginner. Before moving on to the next one, Groking Algorithms, an illustrated guide for programmers and other curious people. I consider this book is more advanced level. So if you will start, I highly recommend to start with Python crash course before moving to more uh, detailed algorithm. And the main features are it covers common essential algorithms so expect to have some depth of understanding when it comes to programming and here are the main concepts we, which are so practical and easy to implement when you fully understand them such as greedy algorithm hash tables sorting bfs dynamic programming next we have introduction to machine learning with python I read this book 8 out of 10 and the reason behind that is the code is quite outdated and but still I have pretty nice story with with this book because when I started in my ML classes at the university I had really some difficulties with the core textbook I remember it was 100 pages of machine learning it was quite difficult for me to understand with uh, the language stated wasn't really easy and the mathematical interpretation is also hard to follow so i i used this book to like intertwine between the two books and in order to understand it i love the concepts and i love this book so much the concepts of machine learning classification regression clustering dimensionality uh, reduction are really simplified like no other books or no other blocks I came across chef's guess and another good thing about this book it reflects almost 70% maybe more of the concepts that we usually use day to day in data science slash data analytics so that's why I wanted to add this book here, but still you can't rely 
uh, you can't rely on this book when it comes to the implementation. So I usually refer back to Kegel and implement uh, the concepts by myself. Um, so yeah, it still it draws silver line between the fundamentals and it illustrates the core, the core characteristics and that's why I include this book here. <laughs> Next we have Machine Learning with PyTorch and uh, Scikit-learn. This book is 10 out of 10. Uh, looking now at this book, I find that it's pretty dense and complete guide for ML. It, it's like around 770 pages and covered so many ML techniques on different levels, such as mathematical, uh, theoretical use cases, practical examples, evaluation uh, matrix, etc. etc. The main features of this book, I want to highlight that I usually start or goes with order so I start with chapter 1 finish chapter 1 then move to chapter 2 finish chapter 2 move to chapter 3 and so forth uh, usually uh, the author highlight this point whether you can go in order or not but for this book I, I usually go uh, with order also I give myself some time to understand the topic and implement it on multiple Kegel data sets before moving on to the next chapter in some cases. It's quite detailed book so you can't get uh, in one attempt. And the next recommendation in this list is getting started with natural language processing. I read this book 10 out of 10. Another successful choice by Manning and I find the NLB uh, it's pretty effective skills to have as a data scientist. It helps you to analyze and investigate uh, users' reviews and feedbacks. And the main features of this book uh, started with summary of the most cases used as a data scientist um, when it comes to NLP analysis, such as spam filtering, machine translation, spell and grammar checking, and so forth. Then it walk you through more detailed advanced structure and info extraction with practical use cases, which is pretty inspiring. And then it highlights topics and sentiment analysis uh, in addition to most suitable uh, methods for model evaluation. It's totally worth it 10 out of 10. Next, we have Essential Math for Data Science. I read this book 10 out of 10, and I find math interpretation is essential. I find having the main math lessons can be effective while understanding the concepts of machine learning and deep learning. And when it comes to ma main features of this book, the books or the book, sorry, covers the main math in calculus lessons besides probability and probability is pretty crucial when it comes to when when we talk about machine learning classification and in a specific naive pace because naive pace as you will see in my next video is related to conditional probability and product rule i will describe all this in more depth in my next videos so yeah Probability is truly important when we talk about machine learning. Uh, this book is also dedicates fair proportion of logistic and linear regression uh, explanation. You can go and check it out. And when we talk about data science, we definitely need to talk about SQL, Oracle, Hadoop, and other mediums. So, for SQL, for data science, data cleaning, wrangling, and analytics with relational databases, all of like all these SQL and other mediums are crucial in our business. Learning how to write an accurate query can facilitate the time and effort in data processing stage. And for main features of this book, it covers 
the main functions we usually use started simple like select query from and where then it move to more advanced level when we talk about um, how to apply data cleaning and ADA on databases and how to collect useful tables for your analysis and I like mostly when it comes to this book it's how to connect the SQL query you create to R or Python so you can connect it on R Studio or Jupyter Notebook or even by charm that's really fascinating so I see this book is being recommended on LinkedIn different times in different occasions and now I see and I know why and finally one of the main topics and when we talk about data science we definitely talk about hypothesis testing and a b testing so this book trustworthy online controlled experiments a practical guide to a b testing what companies usually do in a b testing you will definitely read it here it's a practical example and it truly is you might need some implementation in the practice on live data sets however i like when when i see any blog on medium or linkedin i see so many tech creators reference this book in specific and it is so worthy like most of the of the content out there is from this book this book only so yeah a b testing might not be my favorite topic still each time i need to go through the concepts i use this book for sure main features of this book it's how to establish hypothesis testing and designing experiments with practical use cases it also identify metrics for experimentation and the overall evaluation criteria in addition to ethics and controlled experience experiments associated with internal versus external validity you can definitely uh, check this out it's so useful and we have our final book is practical time series analysis prediction with statistics and machine learning i read this book also 10 out of 10 time series analysis is capstone in business tasks we usually measure the effects with respect to time examples on that we might want to measure the acceptance rate of past applications in credit score versus the unsuccessful ones then we might want to test these rates per quarter so here we do our machine learning model again we also apply time series analysis into the equation additionally we might investigate the activation rate of marketing campaigns on weekly or bi-weekly levels possessing a solid understanding in trend stationarity besides many other time series concepts is important for any data scientists the main features of this book it focuses on how to build the model then evaluate it from time series aspect so starting from eda or what is known as exploratory data analysis for time series sorting data creating statistical or machine learning or deep learning model for time series and that's it for today thank you so much for watching this video so far if you find it interesting don't forget to give it a thumb up also please go and check out our other videos because this is how youtube algorithm work you can subscribe and hit the notification button to get a notification each time we publish a new video and don't forget we have we also uh, on tiktok so you can check out and follow us out there thank you so much and i see you in the next video bye